And while Juneteenth is about freedom of a different kind, was celebrated today in Buffalo, the Freedom Walkers, they returned. The Freedom Walkers led by Kelly Diane Galloway walked 902 miles along the route of the Underground Railroad. They started May 3rd in Lynchburg, Virginia, and the Freedom Walk ended in Buffalo, New York on Juneteenth to bring awareness and hopefully an end to human trafficking. Human trafficking generates billions of dollars every year. Galloway does not hesitate to highlight that victims are modern day slaves. As an anti-trafficking organization, as a modern day abolitionist, it is my goal that every woman that we work with in Project Mona's House and in Mona's group and in our outreach and in our center, that they all have their own personal day, their personal Juneteenth, their own day of freedom. The nationally known Centoya Brown Long was here, an overcomer. She served 15 years of a life sentence for killing a man. She was a victim of human trafficking. She was granted clemency. Some of us are also painfully aware that all across the United States, women and girls are still being sold. Come on. There are individuals whose bodies are still being treated as goods to be bartered and who have yet to hear the news that freedom exists for yes. them too. What the Freedom Walkers did was amazing. The journey of over 900 miles took guts, yes. courage, yes. determination. Yes. I'm tired and my feet hurt. <laughs> All right? But the journey continued. We just need your strength and prayers to walk this last mile. Yeah! yeah. Are y'all ready? Yeah. yeah! Walkers did the last mile to the Michigan Street African American Heritage Corridor, the last stop on the Underground Railroad in Buffalo. So, happy Juneteenth, y'all! Yeah. Yeah.